Woman hears creepy voices, then she looks at the baby monitor and calls the cops. Having a baby is a dream that millions of parents all around the world aspire to come true. The same can be said about one couple. When they brought their beautiful baby daughter into the world, they sought to protect their dream child and ensure that she was always safe. However, everything went haywire when a mother awoke one night to an unfamiliar voice that crept over her baby monitor. When she discovered what was going on, she had no choice but to call the police. While Heather and Adam Schreck are the couple and protagonists of this horror story, when the two met, they could have never predicted that their world would have been challenged shortly after getting married. Their meeting was all a stroke of luck, yet it was love at first sight. Their relationship blossomed and it was clear that there was only one thing left to do. For Heather and Adam, everything around them pointed to the love that they felt for each other. It was as if the forces that united them were all pointing to the inevitable. There was no option choice they felt compelled to get married, and with that, they purchased a home together. They were a happy couple. However, they felt as if something was missing. While the two were happy with each other, naturally, as a married couple, they expressed to each other the idea that they had for the future of their family. Both of them wanted to have kids of their own. With that thought in mind, they planned for their first baby, and soon, Heather became pregnant. How would the delivery go? Heather and Adam were blessed enough to welcome their baby daughter into the world without any major complications. Needless to say, while the couple was grateful, they were also aware that they were fortunate as not every parent has the opportunity to start a family of their own. Therefore, they counted their blessings and vowed to do their utmost to protect their newborn baby from the forces of evil. Little did they know that they would soon be put to the test. With the goal of being the best protectors they could be, the parents took every measure that they could to ensure the safety and well-being of their newborn daughter. Both Heather and Adam spent every waking moment with their daughter, ensuring that every need that she had was satisfied. However, they soon came to realize something. Inasmuch as both parents wanted to spend every moment with their daughter, they soon understood that that was impossible. On one hand, their baby daughter had her own room and cradle. Therefore, it was impractical for either parent to move into that room as the space didn't allow it. What's more, there was something else that they didn't prepare for. While they loved their newborn baby, the reality was that they also had a life. They had friends, they had family, they had each other. Inasmuch as they loved their newborn, they also loved each other. Consequently, they needed some alone time with each other. How could they balance the time they needed to dedicate to their newborn baby along with their own personal lives? Well, it didn't take long for them to stumble upon a solution that they thought would solve their problems. Through their research, the couple discovered that there was a baby monitor that afforded them a host of options to keep track of their newborn. They could connect their mobile phones to it and view the video footage through their smart devices. What's more, they could change the angle of the videos and the devices sound remotely. The possibilities were endless. With this newfound baby monitoring technology, they foresaw a stress-free home. With it, the couple could keep the baby in her room while they would be able to spend time together or even get some sleep. At last, their relationship could return to some relative normalcy. But that wasn't the only thing that the monitor would be able to do for the two of them. What's more, now, they might even be able to invite people over to their home to entertain them. With their baby sleeping soundly in the other room, the baby monitor would alert them if there was anything wrong. Of course, if something were to happen, they would run to the rescue. But the possibilities were endless. There was, however, one small problem. Heather and Adam were no tech experts. However, they did know that technology does, on occasion, tend to fail. For that reason, Heather was worried that the baby monitor might not work when their baby needed their comfort the most. However, those doubts were quickly pushed from her mind when she realized that she could probably hear her baby screaming from anywhere in the house. Still, nothing could prepare the couple for the disaster that they were about to live. With high hopes and big dreams of recovering their personal lives, Heather and Adam purchased and installed their baby monitor. After putting it to the test, they realized that it worked wonders. Every time their baby would cry out, the monitor would transmit the sound over the video, and in no time, they'd be in her room to comfort her. They couldn't believe what would happen. Heather and Adam were extremely happy. At last, they could invite their friends and family members over and have fun, knowing that they could keep a watch over their baby with their monitor. Their infant daughter hardly ever fussed when people were around, so that gave the couple some more time to spend quality time with their invited guests. But that's not the only thing that the baby monitor allowed the couple to do. Thanks to their baby monitor, Heather and Adam could finally start to socialize again. In fact, with it, they could visit other friends' houses and put their baby to sleep in a room while they spent time with their friends. All they had to do was to connect the baby monitor to their mobile service, and they would be alerted if there were any funny business happening in their baby's room. All in all, to the family, it had seemed like the perfect investment. That was until disaster struck. The day that all hell broke loose within their home, Heather and Adam were as happy as could be. Nothing could have remotely suggested that that night a calamity. 
They proceeded with their daily tasks and, when night fell, put their baby daughter to bed in her room. Having done that, they retired to their room and quickly dozed off. They could have never imagined what was about to happen. Having been accustomed to waking up periodically while her child slept, Heather had become a light sleeper. However, that particular night, she found herself having trouble drifting off to sleep. She kept having this uncomfortable feeling in her gut that slowly crept throughout her entire body. She couldn't shake it off, nor could she figure it out. It was that weird feeling you get when something is amiss. What could this mean? As Heather attempted to negotiate the odd feeling that she was having that night, she drifted off into a light sleep, stuck somewhere between rest mode and a semi-conscious state where her ear was open to pick up any cry that her baby daughter would emit that night. To her horror, she would end up hearing something else that would disturb her to the core. During her light slumber, a sound stirred Heather up from her semi-conscious state. She was fully awake. As she gathered her bearings, she assumed that it was her baby daughter putting up a fuss in her room. It would not have been the first night that she would have done this, nor would it be the last, so Heather was already prepared to rock her baby back to sleep so she could go back and get some. What she was not prepared for, however, was the nightmare she was about to wake up to. As Heather's body instinctively prepared itself to roll out of bed to check on her baby, Heather heard something from the baby monitor that had her stop in her tracks. She heard a voice, but it sounded nothing like her baby crying or being fussy. It sounded like another human voice who could it be? As Heather's ears pricked up, she could hear the sound of someone through the baby monitor sounds that she knew that her baby could not produce. Initially, in the days of the sleep, she assumed that it was Adam who had gone to check on the baby and was mumbling something to himself in the other room. However, as her eyes readjusted to the darkness, she found her husband sleeping soundly next to her. Immediately, fear crept into her body. What was going on? Heather trained ears to the sound. She waited a couple of seconds, and then it came through the speaker again it was a low, husky voice, that of a man speaking incredibly low, and it wasn't Adam. Her mind went blank as instinct took over. What was she going to do? Inasmuch as Heather felt like she needed to spring off her bed and run into her child's room to see what was going on, she knew that that wasn't the smartest thing to do. If there was in fact someone there, he might attack both her and the child. So, she did what she thought was the best thing to do. In a frenzy, Heather shook Adam violently until he woke from his sleep. With her voice rising in panic, she relayed what she had discovered to her sleep-dazed husband. As soon as he got wind of the severity of the issue, his eyes widened with fear. How could someone have broken into their home? What could they do? Adam and Heather knew that whatever they had to do, they had to do it quickly, as the voice they were hearing kept murmuring across the baby monitor. Initially, the two of them were going to rush into the baby's room together. That way, whoever was in the room would have to deal with two parents, not just one. However, they settled on a different plan. With emotions rising, it was Adam who managed to keep his cool and think rationally. He told Heather to call the police just in case someone was there, and it wasn't just their mind playing tricks on them. With that, Heather grabbed the phone and dialed the police while he shot up from the bed and sprinted towards his baby's room. He didn't know that his worst nightmare as a parent was just beginning. Having called the police, Heather watched the baby monitor in fear waiting for her husband to spring into the room. She would be able to witness everything from the video camera installed in the monitor. Fear gripped her like a python, tightening its grip with each passing second. Her baby was sleeping soundly despite the noises being emitted in the room. But was she safe? Adam raced towards his daughter's room. During that burst of speed, there was nothing else on his mind except the safety and well-being of his daughter. He couldn't even internalize how or why this was happening to his family. He just knew that he needed to do something quickly. What would he find when he opened the door? Adam flung open his baby daughter's bedroom door within seconds of reaching it. Without looking to see who or what was in the room, he instinctively sped to the cradle, scooped his daughter in his arms, and then surveyed his surroundings. He was stunned at what he saw. As Adam took in the darkness of the room, he scanned the area. He was stunned when he didn't see anyone. He started to tremble and fear what was going on. He knew he and his wife were not crazy they did, in fact, hear sounds over the baby monitor. So where was the perpetrator? He didn't have to wait long to find out. As he stood holding his baby close to him, he heard something crackle. It was the camera of the baby monitor. It swiveled in his direction. Why is Heather manipulating the video feature of the camera? He thought to himself. He eyed the camera carefully. He could have never expected what was to happen next. While Adam was trying to figure out what was going on with the baby monitor video, Heather was in their bedroom, viewing the video angle switch right before her eyes. She was equally as perplexed she wasn't controlling the camera, so how was it moving on its own? Soon, she discovered that things were about to get even worse. Adam stared straight at the lens of the video camera as it finally stopped on him. Then, he heard it. Screaming and shouting through the monitor's speaker. A voice started to yell at Adam, calling him every foul word he could think of, using every bit of profanity that was known to the speaker. 
Adam couldn't believe it who was it that was screaming at him. Realizing that the culprit wasn't in the room and had somehow accessed their baby monitor, Adam reached for the cable and furiously unplugged it from the socket. The device was switched off and the screaming perpetrator's voice was silenced. Baby in hand, within seconds, he ran to meet his wife who was shaking from the trauma. But the worst wasn't over yet. While they were relieved that their baby daughter was unharmed and that there wasn't a physical intruder in the room, someone had accessed their baby monitor and violated their private space. Who was the person behind such a heinous crime? As the couple pondered on the situation which they had just lived, the police arrived at their home. After letting them in, they explained to them what had happened. The police officers scanned the home and checked the surrounding area to determine whether there was someone spying on the family nearby. Would they find someone lurking in the bushes? The police searched the peripheries of the family's house high and low, but could not find a physical trace of someone spying on the family. Still, Heather and Adam were violently shaken up by the ordeal. There had to be someone there. However, both the parents and the police knew where they would be able to learn the secrets behind the privacy invasion that they suffered. Unsurprisingly, the police elected to take the baby monitor back to their headquarters for further investigation. Well, that did mean that the family had to part ways with a device that had brought them such joy for so long, they had no qualms with the decision. In fact, they were glad. Finally, they wouldn't have to worry about having another scare with the same baby monitor again. After the detectives returned with their findings, the couple couldn't believe it. The police explained to the couple that a hacker had managed to gain access to their baby monitor and was able to control it remotely. How? Through the couple's Wi-Fi network. Heather and Adam had set up their baby monitor through their home Wi-Fi. Consequently, by breaching the Wi-Fi security, the virtual assailant was able to take hold of their video. But that's not the worst part. As the couple listened, the police officer indicated to them that there was no way of knowing when the hacker had obtained access to their private network. This was something that greatly unsettled the couple. There was no telling what he could have seen or for how long. There was someone spying their every move inside the house through the baby monitor and they had no clue. However, the couple soon learned something that would change the way they see technology. Heather and Adam discovered that they weren't the only family that this had happened to. There were at least three other cases of baby monitors released by the same company that had been hacked. It was a scandal that they had fallen victim to and there was nothing that they could do about it. When the news broke, the world couldn't believe it. As Heather and Adam's story gained traction, all over the country people expressed their outrage. Baby monitors were supposed to be devices that promised comfort to parents. To think that someone stooped so low to weaponize such an integral part of childcare was unfathomable to hundreds and thousands of people across the country. But not more unbelievable to the victims they happened to. Ever since the incident, Heather and Adam have not been the same. While they are grateful that their baby daughter was unharmed during the incident and that she is in one piece, the psychological trauma from having their personal space violated in such a vile manner is something that they will never recover from. And that's not the only thing that they're suffering from. Since then, the couple has lost all their faith in technology. Granted, they still use their mobile phones and other smart devices to help them with their daily tasks. However, now more than ever, they are aware of the dangers that these devices can pose to their livelihood. Luckily, through the madness, there was one important lesson that they were able to learn. Now, Heather and Adam are very careful to change their passwords regularly. Not just that, they don't use the same password across multiple accounts. Based on their research, they realize that doing so reduces the chances of a hacker gaining entry into their private accounts. Still, no amount of precaution they follow will ever undo the trauma and pain they suffered that dreaded night.